This is another Doris Visit special where we get you somewhere on a public bus for just a couple of dollars. Today we're off to Nelson's Dockyard and the beach just over the hill next to it. When you leave the ship, walk up the road and at the crossroads on the left there's an ATM. Wait there to change your money. It's safer. Even if there's a queue, it's very quick. And the machine is really quick. It reads your card, gives it straight back. After you've got your money, walk up the road towards the bus garage. Come this way. So the big grey one at the front is going to Nelson's Dockyard. Over half the people on the bus were from our cruise ship. So all the way to Nelson's Dockyard cost $7 for two. This already feels like a great day out. It's eight US dollars to come into the dockyard and keep your tickets because you need them for Shirley Heights. That was the Pillars restaurant, for obvious reasons, and the Pillars are being restored by the British Restoration Project. The boatyard was built in 1797. Boats with damaged sails would come in and the sails would be hoisted up for repair. There are many ways of getting here and one of the ship's excursions has just arrived by boat. This is where you get your rum punch. Nelson's Dockyard is really relaxing. There are little restaurants and bars. This one has been set for a private lunch and above it you see Shirley Heights. There's a museum in Nelson's Boatyard that tells you all about the history of Nelson. It's expensive. Expensive. Oh look, so pretty. They are quite expensive though. This is customs and immigration. I think Nelson's Dockyard is a very pleasant place to come. A few officers at the time of Nelson left a bun in the oven. The saw pit shed is the oldest structure to be seen in the dockyard today. So Shirley Heights is a lookout onto Nelson's dockyard. It's got a hotel there, but it does cost you $10 up and $10 back. So it's up to you. If you've seen Nelson's dockyard and you want to go to the beach, come down to the red and white building, go all the way up the hill and then turn left all the way down to the beach. If you're looking for a natural Caribbean beach, take the trip to Nelson's Dockyard and walk here. It's paradise. The beach and the walk up to Nelson's Boatyard and the bus took us an hour, which was fantastic because we had a lovely chat with the locals. And now we're having some hummus and a beer before we get back on the ship. Come on.